long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadilloes. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but... So, uh, ever take any famous people? Like, who would you say was your most interesting fare? What, like in the last year? Sure. I took a woman who had gotten sent to hell, the first circle, mind you, so... It's not that bad. But still, she was sent there because she wore gold most of her life. Wait, seriously? Yeah, some book forbids it. I forgot which one, though. And God made it a tenant for, like, a weekend in the second century. She was the only one I'd ever met that was actually punished for, though. The rules change all the time. Sometimes hard to keep up with the tide. Anyway, my ride's just up here. Hey, uh, guys, smells, smells good. W what is it? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Hey, my skin sponsors. The guy that thinks everyone cheated on him. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, it's not like we have any choice in the matter, right? Nope. Having insecurities and being as smart as a dolphin are a package deal. But we'll have fun. Or I hope we will. I I'm still... I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies, or, or like, uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Korea Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, unus mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah, it's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. Well, good luck. I'll try to act really, uh, sad or whatever when you show up with a picture of my favorite dead ants. Oh, come on, I think we could do a little better than that. Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds. Like them. You liked them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! All right, Sane's place is on Welkin Way. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. All right, let's, uh, let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you! I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka Hell, 
aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become like a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. But he still finds time to graffiti the bathroom every once in a while. You, um, you ever met him? Uh, you're gonna meet him in like 10 minutes, Lola. Do you really think I haven't met him yet? That's not saying yes. Yes, I've met the devil, okay? We know each other. Well? Uh, as well as anyone, I guess. As well as any fairy man, anyway. You sound awfully cagey here, Sam. I feel like I'm talking to my cousin about her trip to Jamaica with Raul. Yeah, what's going on? I'm taking you to where the devil lives, Milo. That's what's going on. I was actually asking about Vicky. Did she? You don't think she slept with Raul, do you? I mean, he's too short for her. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke. You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties, like, I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant-ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's... there has to be another way. Let's check it out. Um... hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, is this safe? Heights kind of give me a little anxiety. Oh, I'm very safe. My last inspection and renewed certification was three months ago by one Misha Vasily. And she would know better than anyone being here on account of shoving three different people down elevator shafts. Just let me know when you want to go up one. Going up. One. One floor. Up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. Second floor. Dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. Yeah. What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. Is this the foundation of a house or something? I thought only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now. But back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners of nowhere. Yeah, wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Well, why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? Hi, we'd like to... Yes, I'm perfectly safe. We all get inspected every 90 days. Do you think demons can only hold jobs they're unqualified for? What? No. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, sorry, but are you, are you, aren't you the exact same demon on the first floor? I'm Fenial, the second floor carriage. Ah, oh, different, different name. Okay, we'd like to uh, go up, please. Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Head it on up. Oh, all right. Take, take it, take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am. And turbulence accounts for only 2% of falls. Third floor, everybody out. 